Hey guys and gals, Chartreuse here, back again with uh, the non-Euclidean series, showing you how I did the previous one. So now this is my, about my favorite one. You have a room here, which is fairly long on this side, and a corridor here, which wraps around. So what happens here is you walk around here, you move only three blocks over, and you're back where you started again. It's not some secret room over here. It's actually an illusion, because otherwise three blocks over would be right here is where the hallway is supposed to come out. You can see there's a fake hallway there. So what we have here is our standard two room setup and our narrow corridor. So what we have here is first we teleport up to the second floor here. So this is a fake room here. And I'll show you it. The fake room here with the wall to simulate this lighting here. Lamps everywhere. Simulating lighting is key. So now when we walk over here, we're still seeing this fake room here. But now we're traveling in the correct orientation. We're walking this way, because teleporting, you can't choose the orientation of the player, so they're walking this way. Because you want them to walk back into this room. If they walk back here, they get teleported back down to the first floor, walk back into the same room. But if you're over here, you're going to walk into here, and you just got teleported back down to here, on the first room, but not on this side. You just got teleported back down to the first side. So now you're back in the exact same room you started in. As again, this could be used for... Just either troll, trolling the player or in part of a puzzle where you have to do something in this room to actually escape it. And you have a second command block here that you would fire, or not here, uh, here. So when they walk over, they're actually going into a different room. Now, I, I just made this simple going to the same room. This could be a completely different room. could be completely different rooms of varying sizes that would normally overlap, but they can't. That's the beauty of this teleportation non-Euclidean method. You can make rooms that are beside each other that can't possibly exist. Like, this room could be mass of this direction and mass of that direction. Yet you walk into another room here, which is completely different, but is also massive in different directions and would normally overlap. But the trick would be you teleport them somewhere else. Now, as always, the trick with these command blocks is, is fat, run them as fast as possible. You can see I'm running on pulsers, but... I wouldn't run them on pulsers that, because you can hear those normally. I have them turned off, but you just teleport them out. The point zero is important. The land them on the floor and not in the air. Otherwise, it's not smooth. And the trick is also make the rooms look identical. That is not the same room as this. I didn't get the lighting quite perfect here. I think something got changed with that lamp, and I moved it recently, but it's quite good. Anyway, it's been Chartreuse. Have a nice day.